Good morning, lovely people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave Keith. This is ABL Reselling. I'm going to apologise in advance for my very croaky voice this weekend. Uh, it's Bank Holiday Monday, and of course we're off to the boot sales. But I've spent the weekend up until uh, yesterday morning at a bikers rally, and I've been in a field, very merry and singing rather a lot. Had an absolutely tremendous weekend. This weekend's been all about the downtime, and boy did I have a lot of downtime and a lot of dancing time and a lot of drinking time. Man, bikers know how to party. <laughs> Still, I wanted to start today's video by saying a huge thank you. We've just tipped over the 3,000 subscribers mark for the channel. That absolutely blows my mind. Thank you so much for the support for the channel, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. So of course, with it being a bank holiday Monday, we're off to the boot sales, like I say. So, so today we're gonna to be hitting two boot sales. First off, one I normally go to on a Saturday, the bank's boot sale over at Southport. And the second one, I believe, Bolton's on today as well so we're going to be hitting that one on the way home. So without further ado let's get on the road and see what treasures we can find in the fields. I think I might be a bit early. <laughs> There's about six traders on the field. Oh, is this one? Five of that, love. How, how are you doing? doing? Right, oh, yeah. Missed you yesterday. Oh, I've been in the field with a load of bikers. He's been leave him alone. And oh, I'm feeling... He's a bit fragile. I'm all here in body. Is a jacket. Can't watch me want the jacket. It's 25 quid. It's come down from 45. Yeah. What? Is it 50 quid? What? 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 Give us 20. Yeah. Not any better. 22. No, it, the only thing that put me off is a nick in the neck. Oh, it's only been warm once. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jay, no, not to worry. No, take it. Sure, thank take you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Appreciate this it. Is why we've got everything we've just got to get. Yeah, yeah. Wait, We're wise. coming to the end at Carboots, you see. That's so. it, yeah, yeah. Do you want a bag or do you want no, a bag? No, I managed to. Yeah, that would just be taking the mickey, wouldn't it? <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You very I appreciate much. Right. it. Cheers, right, love. Oh, today's a success for you, ladies. Thank you. Oh, I'm finding more stuff now. <laughs> oh, we've come back. We've plenty to get at. I could have put these instead. Cheese skates, love. Seven for ten. The flats are brand new. We're only yeah. used about once or twice. Would you go seven? Sorry? Would you go seven? Seven, size yeah. seven. No, would you did you do seven for him? Eight. Yeah, maybe after we eight. Pardon? I can do eight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might be giving you some more money in a second anyway. Sorry? I might be giving you some more money in a second okay. anyway. <laughs> I didn't spot the other ones. Are these the same size? USA, so that'd be a seven, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. US is always a size yeah. bigger, isn't it? Love those. Could you do those at the same price? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think you. She's looked after it, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She just needed one of the pictures to go down there. We have a motorcycle gear, these are all the boots. Yeah. Yeah. Feet from uh, getting wet. Yeah, I do a lot of I do a lot of boots. Uh, well, I do a lot of bike gear. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. 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 
know how much your bike boots. Ten, because they are brand new. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, look, just as two. You just as two, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's great, that. Cheers, Thank buddy. You. Thank you very much. Have a good day. How much have you got on those, love? Uh, can I have them for three? Yeah, I'll do three of those. That's great, that's yours, lovely. Thanks. Thanks. How much is that? Near enough for a new slate. Yeah. I could do three. That's any Four. good? Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> That's great. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. This is like a fake game boy, that thing. Yeah. 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 Dash cam there, lad. <laughs> yeah, I've vlogged for YouTube. Oh. <laughs> I was here, I said, shout, shout out to YouTube. To YouTube. Yeah. Shout out to YouTube. <laughs> Bit of a long shot. You haven't got Xbox One. Day. Car break, have you? No, do you know what I've been doing? I've been buying the 360 one and buying the converter. Oh, okay. You buy a converter off eBay, I've just bought one. Top man. I um, like it. That's what I mean, I've got the 360 there, but I want 20 quid for that. Yeah. With, yeah. with the hard drive, the games and the, and the yeah, power brick yeah. and all that. I, I picked up... I Four or five of the are for that, for that piece. Yeah. And then you put the power brick into it. Nice. Yeah, that yeah. might be the way to go. I really told you that, did I? No, no. I like the top tips. I've, I picked up an Xbox One last weekend, they're cheap, but he's just had nothing with it. Nice one, cheers for that, Paul. Uh, How much is your lump off? Three pounds. I'll do three pounds for that. There you go, lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Oh, yeah. I don't. I wouldn't. Would that be used as a flower pot? <laughs> if you put some oasis in the bottom, yeah. Stand up your flowers, yeah. It's unusual, isn't it? How much is it? Five. Five's the best on it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's peculiarly lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's notably quieter today. Of course, it's been a while since we've uh, had a bank holiday, but yeah, it's a bit quiet. I think I've missed the boat this weekend with uh, going partying with a load of bikers. But still, found some bargains. Let's get back to it. How much have you got on your Xbox? 20 quid for the Xbox. It, it comes with um, three controls and uh, which one? Two yeah. controls, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Yeah. it. <laughs> Falling over controllers at the minute. <laughs> yeah. Have you got a power brick for it? Is it not in there? No. Maybe I'm on the side pockets. There's one on the front. Um. Oh, no, no. It doesn't look like it's with it right now. Um, oh, not like you, Adam. No. I've always left in the attic, I've said, yeah. But you took it out of the leak, I'll put it back. Couple, couple will probably do a bit less. Better be quick before this man jumps in. <laughs> oh, right. I'm just waiting on you, mate. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I thought you were. You're putting you yeah, under yeah. pressure now. <laughs> yeah. well, I've got to leave you something. Cause I'm on commission. Okay. I'll work for him. Have you got access to any more stock? Um, I always have, but it's I've only got a small car, so of course, yeah, I yeah. can't um, carry loads in it. You know. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. 
But yeah, I, I get stuff all the time, you know. Belting, yeah. Um, I'd I'd I, be inter if it, I'd be interested in buying in bulk, like new seal games and that. New seal games. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Well, if if I, if I come across it, and I'm here, like, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll bring what I can with me. Yeah, Because I, I usually do stuff like Pokemon, and last week I had some Pokemon stuff that I sold. And yeah, are you having this? No, you crack on. Sound. I'm tempted, but as I said, I've got to draw the lines on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you always cost me a fortune every time. I, come in. <laughs> I do a good deal, though. You do. That's I, I'm not. I'm not expensive, am I? No, I mean, no. you know. I, 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 what have you got on your risk? Your second hand risk? Well, I wanted a five, wasn't I? Right, okay. You know, it's it, again, it's everything's there, you know. You yeah, yeah. I'm up to 28. Yeah. If I go 30, yeah. Throw, throw one more in if go I go on, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Where you stretch arm from? Do a five reach on them. They're new, they've never been used, then. Yeah. Not a struggle, yeah, is it? Yeah, they've got to be perfect, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're proper tanked as well. They're what? They're proper tanked on price as well. Right, oh what? They come down, yeah, yeah. Well, they, on, on Amazon anyway. Right. Well, I would have asked the five on it Yeah, but is, is it all there? Oh, think? yeah, yeah, you can yeah, check through yeah. it if you want, yeah. And it's yeah. worth Can you help yeah. You anything? yeah, I've got two yeah. so far. I'm just dope. trying to add to it. <laughs> yep. If you need a hand or just nice one, thank okay. you, mate. Cheers. There you go, pal. Nice one, mate. Thanks thank very much. much for Cheers. That. Yeah, it's my timing really sucked there, didn't it? Well, <laughs> a couple of minutes earlier, I would have eaten them to it. So now, you know, I do always try and pick decent stuff yeah. up. So yeah, for the Mia, yeah. then you know, that's it. I'll watch out for you next time. Yeah, anyway. yeah, I nice do. One. I do only come here if I've got decent stuff. Yeah, you yeah, know. fair enough, fair so, enough. Have a good day anyway. And you, mate, Cheers thanks very much. Holy <laughs> old. Is it a polio? It is, yeah. I picked one up, here's the, the Book of Death. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah that looked really cool. Yeah, what are the comps on it? Uh, 25. So that's me done at Banks Boot Sale now, so off over to Bolton. Hopefully that'll be a bit busier. How much your boots? Uh, let me have a look at my list. 20 quid, they're a size 10 I think. Yeah. How much is your PlayStation? How much is the PlayStation? 40. With the what, four games though. Yeah. Excuse me. How much have you got in your jacket? 70. My Morton Twaffers on it. It's an extra large. Yeah. It's only been worn for a test and then he didn't wear it again. Yeah, yeah. How many times has somebody picked that up thinking there was something in it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Did you do three on that? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. 10p. Smashing. Cheers, Bob. Thank, Thank you. Have you got the power cable for that? It's not in there, is it? Somebody's no. just trying to eat. It's only a quid if you want to try and get one from somewhere. I can't even see where the pack power goes in. Is on that. Well, apparently, someone said it meant to burn tight. 
Right, okay. well, I don't think that's nothing to do with it. Uh, it's five and a half, because of what he said. Yeah. I take it these uh, control isn't power for it. Yeah, yeah, that stuff was, was with this. Yeah, probably this three. No, it, it actually powered on. Yeah. I just didn't play a game on it. Yeah, right, okay. It's, it's, it's got to be a five. Yeah, it? go on. Well, slim pickings today. <laughs> I thought people were tight with the money early in the morning, not later yeah. on. <laughs> you got to ask though, ain't you? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It was a tenner earlier. Yeah. Did you come yesterday, yeah? No, oh, I've been, was... I've spent the weekend rather worse for wear in the field with a load of bikers. Oh, so, that's yeah. it. What crosses? <laughs> no, it's uh, just a bike rally up near Lancaster. Just been on about bikes. I used to have bikes when I was younger. Cheers, man, thank you. Um, have a good day, Bob. A very much more sedate affair at the Bolton car boot today. A couple of pickups, nothing special. So let's get it all home, go through what I got and how much I'm expecting to list it for. And we're back home. It's actually a day later now and I want to start off this part of the video by regaling you with a tale of how testing equipment for resale and landed me in A&E today. <laughs> Now don't panic, I'm fine, I'm fine. And that sounded a lot more dramatic than it actually uh, actually did. The story goes, you might have seen uh, when I went through all that stuff that I picked up uh, from the charity shop haul in my last video, uh, one of the items that I picked up was a blood pressure monitor. This one here specifically, brand is Medisana. Idea is you strap it around your wrist and it gives you a accurate blood pressure <laughs> blood pressure reading so of course being a due diligent kind of chap i uh, i was going to test it out i tested it out and i put it up on screen this was the result now i'm not a medical person but i know that something is a bit fishy about that score so i got in contact with my daughter who's a nurse an exceptionally good one at that of course i'm going to say that <laughs> and get her to have a look at it and um she was a little bit concerned, shall we say. So we had a trip down to A&E to plug me into the proper machine to get it done properly by trained professionals. And of course, the result was that this thing is an utter bag of crap. <laughs> My blood pressure's fine, probably a little bit heightened because it, I was a bit concerned, if I'm perfectly honest. But, but the doctor did actually say that a blood pressure of a reading that this thing was giving out, uh, he's never seen anybody walking around ever with a blood pressure reading that high. So anyway, that's my little story from today. <laughs> Always test things out before you sell them. I think that's the moral of that story anyway. Right, back to the boot sale hall. It would seem that everybody got rid of the stuff at the boot sales on uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Bank holiday Monday, which was when I went out because I spent the weekend basically getting, oh, I was going to use a rude word, but I'll use rather merry in a field with quite a lot of bikers having a big party, which was tremendous by the way, but obviously I wasn't picking anything up. Uh, so I went out on Bank Holiday Monday instead and this is what I got. Total amount spent was £80.50 and for that I picked up 12 items. So use your score, gonna strap the GoPro to my head and take you through what I got. Now the first item <laughs> out, the, out the gate is this, um, shall we say, rather interesting motorcycle jacket. Now I don't know what it is about this, part of me thinks Power Ranger and this is just the most ridiculous bikers jacket ever. But another part of me thinks, yeah, somebody in eBay land's going to absolutely love that. It looks brand new. Aside from there's a nick in the collar, I uh, don't know the size. It's clearly, it's not branded. Uh, it's one of these sort of like made in a uh, factory on the cheap. It's got armor in it and it is leather. It's got back, shoulder and elbow armor in it. It actually does feel pretty good quality to be fair, but I just think it looks ridiculous. <laughs> but ridiculous in a, somebody's gonna love that kind of way. I think so anyway. <laughs> I might be wrong. It might have just been um, just the aftermath of uh, being at the bikers rally and my brain being slightly melted or something. Anyway, the, the listing value I've put on this jacket is 50 quid. I'm f I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I think that's a pretty safe 50 quid. Let me know what you think in the comments. Am I absolutely losing my mind? I did kill a lot of brain cells at the rally. It has to be said. Moving on, this is a, a larger version of a lamp I've had before. The last one I had of these, this is a banker's lamp, brass and glass. Uh, the last one I had was uh, green glass and that's the more 
typical, more sort of like traditional ones, if you like. But these actually uh, go for a similar kind of money because, and they're harder to get hold of. I'm not entirely sure if the shading of it is because of age and wear, or whether it's actually supposed to look like that. It's certainly a vintage item and actually looks pretty cool. There are comps for this exact lamp at 50 quid, and that's the listing value I'm going to put on it. Some very spangly sketches shape ups. Uh, size eight, which is, I mean, these are clearly, I would say clearly, that I would imagine these are more, would appeal more to the ladies with them being all glittery and spangly and all that kind of stuff. So quite a large size for a, for a lady size eight. Listing value on those 25, maybe even have underestimated that. I may be pushing these to 30, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna put uh, 25 pound on them. They don't look like they've had very much wear at all. Another banker's lamp this time, a brass, all brass one. A really cool item this. Paid very little for it. It's got a bit of tarnish into it, but I think that more adds to the effect. I don't, I don't really don't think that somebody who's buying vintage, vintage items, I don't think they expect it to be absolutely pristine. I mean, it'd be nice, but I, I think there's a bit of uh, bit of grace given there to to, to the vintage like, patina look, if you will. Listing value on this lamp, forty pound. Now here's a brand that I haven't seen for a while, but they're definitely, definitely worth checking out. The brand is Amplicoms. Uh, they make a lot of equipment for uh, people who are hard of hearing. Telephones, intercoms, speaker devices. They make quite a range of items. But this is the Big Tell 202, a trio, three bases. Obviously the main unit. I don't think actually this is an, an answering machine one, which would have been nice. But even so, because there's three of them, Needs a good D guns. They look a bit grungy, these. But it's all there, and I'm pretty confident with a listing value of £45 on those. A really nice Gola messenger, messenger bag. I think this is more retro than vintage. It's, uh, it certainly looks like a pretty new item, actually. It's certainly not 20 years old, that's for sure. So a nice retro Gola messenger bag. Uh, not as much as I hoped on this, actually. I, I, I got it because I've sold this type of bag before uh, and they fetch pretty good money. But checking comps after the fact, I mean, I only paid quite a lot for it anyway. Checking comps after the fact was a little bit disappointing. Still margin in it, listing value on that. 15 pound couple of games from the same seller you may have seen this in the video talk about sucky timing uh, one of our excellent subscribers uh, chris pointed out a, a stall at the end of a, a row uh, saying the guys just brought out a load of new games and they look pretty cheap go and have a look i think it might be your thing so of course made my way there just as i was arriving uh, another chap reseller clearly had an armful of games that he put off him just pipped to the post but i did manage to get these two no no significant value in these and i paid up probably a little bit particularly for the smart ass game which has tanked quite a bit used to do really well with that game on amazon so that may go into my amazon stock but obviously we in this instance we're just, we're just talking about ebay so listing value on smart ass 10 pound and listing value on the stretch armstrong is 20 pound obviously both brand new and the smart ass is factory sealed next up ps1 uh, in its original box a little bit of a, a ropey condition cosmetically and in the bag we've got the controller and the leads for it and in the charity shop haul i did actually pick up a couple of ps1 games as well which as long as they're not significant value because i like to sell those separately if they're just sort of like uh, lower end games i'll bundle them with this console just to boost up the uh, value of the listing and that listing value is 45 pound next up a very tasty item it's a sony dvd writer it's also free view enabled and it's got a 160 gig hard drive in it ticking a lot of boxes there there are more valuable versions of this device but this one is the sony rdr hxd 870 pretty good condition actually unfortunately the guy that I bought it off he did say he had the remote but he forgot to bring it with him so uh, it's worth my while sourcing a remote for this anyway didn't come with anything else but i've got a hdmi lead that i can bundle with it and i've certainly got a figure of eight cable uh, that i can stick with it so there then that's not going to cost me anything they're already in 
my bag of tricks. So you just have to fork out for a remote on that. Uh, listing value on this, £70. Last couple of items today, these are both from the same seller. These roller blades or inline skates, whatever you want to call them. They're, I think they've only been used once. They've clearly been used because obviously this is wear to the wheels. But aside from that, they look in minty condition. In fact, one of them has still got the instruction manual with it. Slightly different sizes. I think they're an eight and a six, I want to say. Oh, I won't check, but that's there, thereabouts. Listing value on these is £35 each. <laughs> yeah, all right. Don't do it, lies. It lies. Now, by all accounts, on Sunday over the weekend, it was the single best boot sale day this year from a lot of accounts. Likely to be because of a few reasons. The school's going back soon, so families don't have that much flexibility to get to boot sales. It was the last bank holiday weekend of the year, and the weather was fantastic. So for all those reasons, it was always going to be really, really busy. Now, do I feel guilty about missing that opportunity? The short answer is absolutely not. There's always going to be stock to be found. It is equally important to look after your own mental health. I've had a fantastic weekend spending some really good time with really, really good, good friends. A lot of which I haven't seen for a couple of years because of the pandemic and that. And I feel completely revitalized because of it. And to be perfectly honest, that is worth more than a couple of grand's worth of stock that I, would, I might have picked up over the weekend or that I might have missed out on over the weekend. That recharging of my batteries is gonna spur me forward to do well and well into Q4, which is what I'm gonna be concentrating on a great deal from here on in, believe you me. Right, totals time. Like I say, total amount spent was 80 pound and 50p and for that i picked up 12 items a nice mix of stuff some slow sellers in there no doubt but uh, certainly some quality stuff as well and the total listing value for all those items is 440 pound now like i always do i'm going to qualify those valuations all those prices are going to be plus postage if some of them are slower sellers they're hanging around i might consider reducing price over time or taking offers there's a snapshot in time right at this moment that is my gross listing value now as of today's day we're actually almost exactly one month away from the start of q4 and one thing that i do urge all you guys to do is concentrate strongly on your stock levels going into q4 it's the time of year where it really is an opportunity to make some serious money one thing i'll be doing this month to prep for q4 is doing a stock take normally do a stock take uh, twice a year it's a good opportunity to make sure that you haven't got any stock that where the listings have fallen off eBay for some bizarre reason because that does happen on occasion. Uh, it's also a good opportunity to liquidate sticky stock so you've got that bit more revenue, that bit more cash flow to buy perhaps seasonal items. Now I think I've missed saying this in the last couple of videos as well. If there's anything that you spotted when I was going around the fields that you would have picked up that I didn't or that I missed, uh, hit me up in the comments below. The feedback I get from you guys about stuff that I've missed or stuff that I don't know about is worth it's weight in gold to me. I really do appreciate it as well. And I've had some pretty big wins off the back of the comments that you guys have left. So if you've noticed anything that I missed, mention it in the comments below. If you've got any value out of this video or you found it entertaining or reselling is your thing, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and helps me reach more people. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, smashing that subscribe button will mean the world to me and hitting the notification bell will mean that you get a notification of next time I post a video up. Thanks very much indeed for supporting the channel, guys. It really is appreciated. I still can't believe we just smashed through the 3,000 subscriber mark. That's just crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hey, I like the way you hey, roll it, yeah. Roll, yeah. Walk out. Oh, I try to hold on, hold on, but the feeling and I feel it so strong. So strong. I never let go, I never let go. I love them all, cause I say so. If you're sexy and you know we get your hands up.